We're going to start this puppy up. Clear? Prop? And welcome back to Tip of the Week. You know, when I talk to people about building small aircraft, generally they fall into one of two categories. Those that ask me, why on earth would you want to do that? They're dangerous and all that stuff. And then there's the other ones that say, wow, I've always wanted to do that all my life. I just can't afford it. And you know they're right. It costs upwards of $10,000 or more just to get your private pilot's license. And then to own a kit with an engine and everything, 40, 50,000 at the bottom, and then typically a lot more than that. So they're onto something there, they know it. The interest in taking flight by the second group of people is already out there. You don't need to sell them. The issue is one of affordability. Now, we can give rides and aircraft, we can have pancake breakfasts, but I don't see a lot of progress in getting a lot more people into this sport. You and I both know lots of very talented individuals that would make great pilots and great builders, and the only thing holding them back is the affordability issue. So I'm announcing a new initiative to make it easier for a lot more people to both build and fly their own plane. Make the dream come true like it has for a lot of us. So join me in this effort called Make Ultralights Great Again. Now our audience for Ultralights is made up of two groups. Those with their pilot's license and those without. Those that already fly with their license have the benefit of knowing that once they lose their medical, they can continue flying perfectly legal. But aside from growing old and losing your medical, the idea of flying by the seat of your pants is so wonderful. You already know the rules of the road, the regulations, you know how to fly. It is so easy to jump into a small light aircraft that you have created and immediately go and take flight. No questions asked, no certification, no inspection or taxation of your project. Then we have the group that are not pilots. They have a lot more homework to do. However, things are not the same as they were back in the 80s, with ultralights that is. Today we know better. When it comes to flying, although there is no practical or knowledge-based test that must be passed, ultralight pilots must and will follow the FAR rules, airspace rules, all of that, and that is our job to help them achieve that. For example, if we can get them to pass the basic knowledge ground school tests, then we know and they know that they're well prepared to take to the skies from a knowledge standpoint. By applying responsible decision making to both flying and building, we can create a whole new ultralight aviation environment which will attract many talented builders and pilots that were previously kept away due to the affordability issue. It's just that simple. By applying the safety and knowledge base we have in the experimental community to ultralight building and flying, we will not have a repeat of the 1980s. So how do we get started? Well, in the spirit of affordability, we are going to scratch build our own ultralight. And we're going to provide the details and the step-by-steps right here on video. Now, I have researched the available plans out there 
for building an ultralight. There aren't a lot of scratch-built ultralights. A lot of them are kits. We're not building from a kit. We're going to assemble aluminum. No welding required. And there aren't too many ultralights plans that fit that. I also wanted to make sure that this was a popular design with you know, many, many flying out there. And you can check YouTube to verify that fact. These plans I've chosen have been out there for 20 years, lots of them flying, and it's called the Afforda plane or A plane. With these plans that only cost $29 and you can order them online and they're delivered electronically in PDF format if you choose, we are going to be able to build our own flyable legal ultralight for less than $10,000. And the best part is you don't need $10,000 today. You're going to purchase materials as you desire, one tube at a time if you want, though shipping will get you if you do that. But this way, everybody can afford to build. As the proprietor of Home Built Help, I have been in the business for the last 15 years of making videos of how to put together kit planes for the experimental market. These are planes that must be inspected and get a airworthy certificate when they're all done. So we're going to use that knowledge and the FAA guidelines and good building procedures just like we build a certificated experimental aircraft when we build this ultralight. So these ultralights are going to be built correctly going to keep close to the plans like we're supposed to and that way we can be ensured we have a safe flying unit when it's ready to go. So in the weeks ahead you can follow along and watch as I build this ultralight explaining all of the tools and techniques that are used and that way even if you haven't built an aircraft before you can be assured you're doing it right. Now these are not my plans. They were developed by a wonderful person named Dave Edwards. He's the author of the plans. So you're going to buy the plans from him. I have no involvement with the plans. I don't get any of the money you pay for it. He developed the plans. I'm going to build from the plans and show you my interpretation of those plans as far as what tools to use. There are many talented builders out there that don't need to follow me to build this ultralight. But if you so desire, I'm going to be happy to show you how mine is being built. Because I don't want any excuses for those that have always wanted to fly their own aircraft to be able to say, I couldn't do it or couldn't afford it. This is affordable. And even the engine, that is at the end of the project. And we'll talk about that. And I'm going to make sure that this ultralight is built legal, which means it matches the regulations as far as weight and speed, etc. An ultralight is governed by the FAA. They have a set of rules. It's in one of their regulations called Part 103, and there's a circular that goes with it. But I'm going to highlight the important points that make up the limits or boundaries of what an ultralight is. And keep in mind, if you exceed these limits or boundaries, you now have an uncertificated aircraft, which you are not allowed to fly without a pilot's license and without getting it inspected. 
If you build an ultralight to the guidelines I'm going to show you, laid out by the FAA, this does not need to be inspected. It does not require a pilot's license to fly. All of the freedoms you can imagine are available. On a side note, we should note that I flew ultralights before I got my private pilot's license, which suggests that building and flying ultralights can lead to more serious aspirations regarding flight. Be careful. And there you have it. Why ultralights? Because now we have a path to affordable flying for those who once said, I could not afford to build and fly. So follow us along in the videos forthcoming on step-by-step -step building of the A-plane, the Afford-A-Plane, a legal ultralight that is going to be built to standards just like our certificated experimental aircraft are built. This will allow our older pilots to fly without having medical issues and the freedom to make ultralights the fun way to enjoy this hobby. Let's make ultralights great again and make flying affordable for everyone that wants to. Now, back to building. Enough of this talking. Let's go.